Okay, so I'm, uh, this is John Hotdot. I'm sitting here with Dr. Tasso Waldahanna, uh, who works in the Department of Economics at Addis Ababa University, and also at the Ethiopian Development Research Institute. Uh, Tasso has been instrumental and actually invaluable in the fielding of both the 2004 ERHS and the 2009 ERH, ERHS surveys. So Tasso very kindly has agreed to spend a little time explaining how the surveys have actually been organized and implemented. So I was wondering, Tasso, if you wouldn't mind beginning uh, just with explaining how you organize the supervisors and enumerators. Uh, I think uh, RH has been um, collected uh, since 1994. And then uh, we have lots of uh, qualified enumerators and, and field supervisors were collecting this this data. So for uh, this seventh round, uh, we had to select um, field supervisors, enumerators, questionnaire verifiers. That uh, verifies the question before it goes to the data entry and, and data entry clerk. So first, we started with uh, organizing the field supervisor, uh, whose, whose tasks are uh, to to supervise all the field work and, and check enumerators and and also check the questionnaires uh, completed by, by the enumerator. So the, the first task uh, was to announce, to, to, to post vacancies to, to recruit this field supervisor. As one criteria, all these field supervisors uh, have to have at least BSCC or BA degree as a, as a screening mechanism. Then uh, they should have uh, long years of experience in, in, in data collection either as an assistant field supervisor or as a field supervisor. So we announced it, we get a lot of, uh, a lot of application, we have uh, lots of experience. So the selection was not uh, that easy, uh, we, we got a lot of applicants. Based on their experience in the previous uh, Ethiopian rural household survey, Ethiopian urban household survey, environment survey, young life survey, and we were able to select um, nine uh, field supervisors with some extra for training. Then uh, once we finalize selection, we, we, we give them training uh, of two weeks training with, with, with the questionnaire and they did also some piloting work to determine how much time it will take um, to administer the, the, the questionnaire. Then once we have these field supervisors and the field supervisor, we give them um, with some additional care, we, we give them the, the right to recruit enumerators uh, to work with. So each of the field supervisor uh, recruits enumerators, but the, the enumerator has to be first 12th grade complete, you can, you can understand English eh? and understand the local language where they are going to work, the local language of the sites. And then in addition, they should have experience of uh, collecting uh, data from the field. So each field supervisor uh, hire enumerators and then this enumerator has to be trained so we gave them one up to two weeks training for these enumerators and these enumerators also complete uh, at least one questionnaire before they go to field and then came back to to discuss about the questionnaire and, and uh, see if there are uh, issues that they haven't understood and we, we check that the, all the enumerators have understood the questionnaire very well and they are capable of completing it and then each field supervisor uh, <laughs> is assigned to two sites and each field supervisor uh, is uh, assigned to two sites and each enumerator within field supervisor is expected to work uh, to complete three questionnaires uh, per week. We expected <coughs> three questionnaires be completed uh, in six days and the seven days are basically for, for getting uh, rest. <coughs> and then we, uh, we planned uh, <coughs> we, we started uh, the field work in May 1 and we expect the whole data work to be uh, completed July, July 15. And in one site we, we planned that one field supervisor with his enumerator team uh, spends uh, uh, for six, the one and a half months, hmm? that was six, six weeks in total, it will take um, 12, 12 weeks. And then now, uh, <coughs> Currently, we, uh, most of the field supervisors have completed one site and they are in their second site. We started with sites which are closer to Addis Ababa okay. so that they will have close uh, contact with us. If there are any problems, we can identify that. 
now they are in their in their second sites. And then uh, what we did was after uh, they, they did 10 days uh, in the field, we collected the completed questionnaire and give them to the, uh, the questionnaire verifiers. The questionnaire verifiers have to check uh, line by line all the completed questions and then if there are un, uh, unfilled uh, fields in the questionnaire, then uh, we, we ask back the field supervisor to complete them. And also for those, uh, some of the missing one they have either to give certain course so that would be easy for for the data entry and then once we have this uh, field um, questionnaire verifier completed then the, the questionnaire will will go to the, the data entry clerk we have a, a data entry manager who, who have worked as a data entry model in syspro uh, it's, it's ready by now hmm? so i think in in the next two or three days uh, actual data entry will will start and we are expecting to complete the first data entry in August, around end of August, okay. and then uh, provide this uh, data to researchers, the first unclaimed data end of August, then uh, cleaned one will, will continue, be, will be provided later in September. Okay. Now, in terms of setting up the survey for the 2009 round, is it more or less the same approach that you took in 2004, or have you had to change anything? Uh, it's, it basically is, is, is the same, but uh, there are uh, sli sli slight, slight changes. I think we, we spend a little more time with uh, training of enumerators because in, in the round seven we had a new model on, on risk and preference. Because, uh, we, we want to make sure that all the, question, all the enumerators understand how, how to complete those questions, otherwise most of the questions are, are the same and uh, we, we, we follow the same. Same. But uh, we, 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 we use the different software for the entry. In round four, we use um, Access, mm -hmm. which is uh, much more difficult to administer it. And, but SysPro, we found the SysPro relatively easier. Now this year, we, we are using SysPro to okay. enter the data. Okay. But the process of the way in which you recruited the supervisors and the supervisors recruited the enumerators, has that been the same in the last, in 2004 and 2009? Yes, it, it's completely the same because we don't want to, to bring different way of data collecting and we want to make the data consistent. It's, 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 it's completely the same. Okay. Have you been able to recruit the same enumerators and same supervisors from different rounds? Yeah, I, I would say 50% of the full supervisors have, have participated in uh, in 2004 sixth round of Ethiopian Rural Household Survey. Okay. But all of them have either participated in urban household or rural household or in young life or environment survey. Okay. So they all have uh, experience of collecting data for the longitudinal surveys. Okay. Now one thing that was true in both the 2004 and 2009 rounds is hiring the enumerators more or less locally within the survey areas. Um, what advantage do you see of doing that over, for example, hiring them centrally, let's say, here in Addis? So we, we, we want uh, data uh, the data be collected by people who, who speak the native language. We don't want to use uh, translators for data collection. So uh, we hired people from the, mainly from the local area. For Amharic speaking, we, we hire them in Addis. But for those other language for Tigrinya and, and also some other language in the southern part in Oromia, we, we make sure that the enumerators hired know the local language very, very well and they are the native speaker. So to get those native speakers, we have, we have to recruit local. Okay. But those local ones, they came to Addis, they get two weeks training, all of them. Okay. So, the, do the, so where does the enumerator training take place? Uh, it took in Addis. Okay. Uh, uh, because uh, instead of allowing each field supervisor to train in the, in the local area, all of the field supervisors uh, come and, and we make the training in two, in three groups. One for Tigrinya speaking, one for Amharic and the other language speaking, and one for Oromia. They all came in Addis and they train the enumerators together in the presence of field, field coordinators and, and other people here uh, at Ethiopian Development Research Institute in Addis Ababa University. Okay, so in other words, that means the training, is it fair to say the training is fairly standardized across the enumerators? Yes, it is very standardized, okay. yeah. yeah. Do, you ever have, do you ever think there are problems associated with standardizing the translations? For example, let's say a concept in English might be translated into Amhara in one way, 
maybe into triggering yeah, in a different way. Is that a problem, or is that something you can work out? Y yeah, that, that's why we make the training in one place, and, uh, and uh, we, we spend more time for training. Is that all enumerators speak the same language, use the same type of translation. So uh, I don't think that is, that is a problem. Okay. Okay, now in terms of actually fielding the surveys, both in 2004 and 2009, what in your mind has been the biggest challenge, the biggest problems? Uh, the, the biggest challenge is to get uh, the very good enumerators uh, in the field and who have a long time experience, particularly this year. Huh? Uh, there, are, there are other surveys running parallelly, eh? the environment survey and you know, some other surveys by Central Statistical Agency. So uh, keeping those very good in America was a challenge, but finally, because we are a long uh, a panel data, long time, but I know, our numerator values, Ethiopian Royal Household Surveys and any other surveys, that helps us to come up with that challenge. <laughs> okay. And what about the respondents? How do they feel about being interviewed? every three, four, or five years? Uh, I, I, I've been uh, looking at a few sites. I don't see any problem, and uh, they are very collaborative. Uh, I've seen also in Tigray, Haras our sites. Huh? And, and uh, people uh, were sitting the whole day with our enumerator. Huh? Okay. We were able to provide uh, the information we gave. Actually, the enumerators, they don't finish the whole questionnaire in one day. They give uh, two or three uh, time uh, visit so that the household are not bored and they are tired to give the, to, to provide response. So they split the visits in, in two or three times. Okay, yes. certainly when I've gone out just watching the survey being implemented in places like Deborah Brahan, I'm also struck by the fact that how willing the respondents are to actually take part and, and answer questions. Do you think there's any particular reason for that? I think we have been working for the last uh, more than 10 uh, years with them. The, they know that uh, the confidentiality is kept, nothing happened because of they provide the, the data, so they are confident that the, the, the data is used for independent research and they don't have any problem providing those, those, uh, those information, household level information. That's why they trust us and there is no any problem of getting response from the households. Okay, great. Thank you very much.